to my channel. It is Tuesday. Oi! My name is Elizabeth. My channel name is Shy Town Girl, and my sidekick, Miss Kalulu, is in the other room resting because we were outside playing ball, and it's pretty warm out today. Not as hot as it was yesterday, or I should say, it's warm but not as humid. And she is plum tuckered out, so she's crashed already on the other room. And I have a Dollar Tree haul to share with all of you. It's not super big, it's not super small, it's just a little medium one. Not super, super great finds, but I thought a few things definitely worth sharing. So, I'm going to just go ahead and jump right in. I've been outside again, working in the yard. Needed to take a break, so I went, got myself a nice, made myself in one of the cups that Brad gave to me. Love these cups, Brad. Um, I have a big old iced coffee here that I made, homemade iced coffee that I make myself. Mm. <laughs> um, I love my Dunkin' Donuts, but when I'm at home, I just make my own iced coffee. And to be very honest with you, if you took my iced coffee and put it next to a Dunkin' Donuts iced coffee, um, I usually get the caramel iced coffee, caramel swirl, excuse me. You wouldn't be able to tell the difference. I am that confident in myself. Um, I did ask one time though, if anyone wanted to see a video of how I made my flavored coffee, uh, which is really no big secret. It's so simple, it's unbelievable. But if anyone wants to know, hit me up in the box down below. Okay, so let's start with, this is a repeat purchase. I purchased one of these the other day and I had mentioned that, oh, I wish they had another one because I definitely would have bought it. Well, I found another one at a different store. This is the Skin Sugar Glitter Tattoos. It's a 20 count, I believe. Yes, it's a 20 count package. So I went ahead and grabbed this because I don't just use this as tattoos. I use this for DIYs when I'm doing, oh, there's just so many things I do with these types of tattoos. So I was happy to find another package in this design because I think that design is so cute. I came across a couple notebooks. Alrighty, this one, let me just give you a measurement here. I'm gonna say they're all the same size. Yes, they're all gonna be the same size, which is six and a quarter inches by four and a half inches. Here is the back side. First of all, this does come off. This has got like a plastic coating on there. And as you can see, it's teal, and then it has all these pretty little iridescent stars. And the front of it says, stay chill. I thought that was so cute. And when you open it up, what I like about it is, it is all blank paper, so you can do what you want. But it's also got these little side plastic flaps here, so you can always tuck in one sheet to another. Let's see if I can pull this off. Well, you guys kind of get the idea of what I'm talking about here because I'm not facing the um, book. I can't seem to get it in there. Oh, come on. Okay, well, you guys get what I'm saying. <laughs> Anyways, I thought that was super, super cute. Another really cute one, same size, and it's got all these. Look at that color that just jumps out of those rainbows. Same on the front and the back. Again, this sticker does come off. Yay, somebody finally figured it out. This is made by Green Buyer, brought by bleh, Blooper. Now all I got left to do is drop something and someone come to the door and we're set. Um, <laughs> what I meant to say is this is a Green Briar product. So really nice, I just love it. It's also blank on the inside and then you have those side pockets where you can tuck your paper in. Last but not least, I found this one that says girls rule. I thought that was cute. You know, something like this to throw in a purse, a backpack, in your glove box, um, just to have paper. Because you never know when you're going to need a piece of paper. I mean, that's just how I roll. I still write with pencils and pens and paper. I don't do everything on my phone. But hey, that's just me. All right, I found these cute little, I showed some planners yesterday. I found some more planners, but these are quite different from what I've ever seen before. These are made by Jot, and they do have a sticker that peels off the back. And look, it even tells you that it's easy peel off. So maybe somewhere, someplace, somehow Jot is listening to me scream about their sticker situation. I doubt it, but I can always have wishful thinking, right? Okay, so these books are six inches by four inches. The back side, as you can see, they're very glittery, but please know the glitter is not a harsh glitter. It's, you can't even feel it because the glitter is in this like vinyl stuff. 
here's what the front says. Every day is a new day for 2021. Isn't that cute? I thought this was so perfect. So this is like a little bit more fancier, I think, than what I showed you yesterday. But here's an idea of what you get. Really easy to read. What a great stocking stuffer. I know you're saying Beth Christmas, really, but you know what? They do Christmas in July all over the place. This would be perfect, I think, for somebody in their Christmas stocking. Also, this is all, these are, I have four different ones. They're all gonna be the same size. I didn't tell you how many sheets of paper are in here for the planner. It doesn't tell me um, because there's notes and stuff in the back, but it takes you all the way from 20, the whole 2021. Here's this one here, make it happen 2021. Isn't that beautiful? I love this purple and it's on a, it's gold, but it's like a subtle gold. It's not a real big bam, more like a champagne color. And then here is your inside again and your planning stuff. This one here just is done in a really, really pretty blue and it says 2021 in silver. Again, all the insides are the same. Last but not least, and I really like this one, and I think because our world has been such chaotic craziness, we all need one of these at the beginning of 2021, a fresh start. I couldn't say it better than myself. A fresh start is what we would need. Love this color. It's like a lilac color. It's not pink, it's not purple, but it's beautiful. And I would definitely say lilac. Okay, I then found some new boxes. Now these are the kind, oh, I hate these silicone packs. They freak me out. They have my whole life. I hate them. Not that they freak me out. I just worry like, oh my God, one's going to get dropped on the floor. Someone's going to pick it up a little one if you have a little one in the house. So I like to get rid of those things right away. Okay, so this is a three pack of boxes. And here's what the outside looks like for the first one. Look at the mermaid. Oh my gosh. And then there's your backside. Unfortunately, this does not come off. So wah, wah, wah on that one. But these measure. The first one is six and a half inches by four and a half inches. There's the front. And let me actually take out the other boxes. So here's the biggest out of the three that looks like this. And when you open it up, what a great way to display a gift, you know, say someone likes mermaids and stuff, or maybe go to the ocean and put some sand and some shells in there. I did that one time for a friend of mine who's never been to the ocean. What I did was I got a box, something similar like this. It had something to do with mermaids and shells. And when I went to the ocean, which I go to a lot, um, I went and I got some sand and I put it in there and I went and got some shells and I put it in there and just little things throughout the day. Like I put my menu from where I ate that day. Um, I put a postcard from where I was that day, some sand, some shells. I think I put a little, it was like a little trinket thing that said where I was. I was in Rhode Island at the time and I thought there was something else I put in there, like a keychain or something. And she loved it. And she still keeps it displayed, which is so funny because she doesn't use anything that's inside. But I love her to pieces. And that's just an idea of what you can do with these boxes. So that was the first one. Then there's the second one, which jumps down pretty significantly, I would say, in sizes. So here's the first one I showed you. And then there is the second one. The patterns are the same all the way around. And then there was a third one, and I really wanted to get it so I could show all of you the size difference. So peekaboo, there you go. And all of them have the same design, and then on the inside are exactly the same. But just a, oh, there's just so many things you can do. You can give all three to somebody if you want because they all nestle inside each other. Voila, and they just break down to, there's all three of them however you want to work it. Absolutely too, too cute. All right, moving on. Needed some more toothpaste. Colgate Max Fresh, nothing, you know, fancy. This is the uh, 1.9 ounce size and it's just me. So, you know, you can't beat that for a buck. I also finally, they finally got some of this soap in. I've been waiting for this to come back in stock. Jergens, 
has been around forever. Um, what I like about Jergen soap is it's very pure, it's very clean. And for those of you that have never tried this liquid soap before, if you like the smell of almond, oh my God. The smell of this bottle, first of all, it's a 7.5 fluid ounce bottle. It's by Jergens, which is a brand name. It's extra moisturizing hand wash. And this is cherry almond. And man, do I wish we had smell a vision but you know what, we'll have it soon, I'm sure. Oh, I love the smell of almond. Almond and like shea butter, but this one is almond and cherry. It's cherry almond is what it actually is. Oh my, please trust me on this one. If you love that smell, you're gonna love this soap. I grabbed three because the limit was actually four, but there was only one left and I didn't wanna be a piggy, so I left it on the shelf for somebody else because I'm nice like that sometimes. Okay, look at these, oh my goodness. I showed a headband the other night with kitty ears. Well, look at what I found today. Not only is it purple, but it is a unicorn kitty. Now these are probably made for kids, so now I'm just trying to stick it on my big fat head. Okay, are we talking or what? Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Right, are you kid? right? They had purple, they had blue, they had yellow, they had green, and they had orange. Then I round the corner and people are gonna think I'm just such a whack job, but you know what? I really like to have fun. I try to have as much fun as I can. Um, I just, you know, you gotta take one day and just enjoy it to the best you can because none of us are guaranteed a tomorrow. Then I saw these and I fell in love with these two. These are almost exactly like the kitty ears that I got yesterday, but these are all in silver. So now I am a unicorn kitty, look at that. I'm just, you know, how old am I? How old am I? I know, I know. Um, I found some new blind bags. And while I shove my face into the screen here, these are, actually I found a few. This one, Harry Potter. These are, let's see, there's eight to collect. They are backpack buddies. Look out for the rare mystery wand. Okay, oh, here's exactly what you can get on the back. There's all different kinds of wands that have a little thingy here that you can hang on a backpack or something like that. So we'll have, to, oh, actually it looks just like this. Right there and then it's got a little piece that hangs down. So I can do an opening on that if anyone's interested. I also picked up these little houses now, I do plan on doing something completely different with these houses. Um, the measurements, the first house is four inches by seven and a half inches. Now, even though I love what's in there, what I plan to do is put something different inside and I'll probably paint this as well. But that's just me thinking outside that box again. Just my way of going, okay, you know what? I couldn't probably put this together for less than a dollar if I bought the wood. So I'm just gonna use this as my focal piece and then just change it up into something different to go on my three tier trays. And let me see how wide these are. I wanna say about an inch and a half. Yeah, inch and a half. So this is what they look like. You can paint them if you want. They're nice and thick on the bottom as well. So you can just stand them up. This does come off. They had another one that's this shape. So here was the first one I showed you. Here's the second one. I'm also gonna be doing the same thing. This one measures five inches by seven inches and is also one and a half inches in depth. There is what it looks like. Again, you could stain this because it's regular wood. You could stain it, you could paint it with all the Dollar Tree paints that are out there right now. Whoa. Last but not least, so I'm gonna give you a vision of all three of the houses I found. I don't know if there's any more shapes. Here was the first one. Here is the second one. And then the third one I found was this size. And this one measures six inches by six inches. And there it is. Again, you know, this is pretty and I love it, but I'm gonna change it up just because that's what I wanna do. <laughs> I don't mean that in a mean way, but I'm just saying, you could do anything you want with these. You could even put them on the wall. Say, if you hung it up 
don't know if you guys, so if you hung it up on the wall, you know, use it as a shadow box. You could put little trinkets or something in there. Absolutely. Okay. I did come across a couple more of the Ruby blind boxes. These are the ones that have all these different keychains in them. And I hope I pronounced it right. I did have one of my subscribers tell me how to pronounce it. So I believe it's Ruby. I found three more of those. So I grabbed them. Also, I had to pick up a card. I won't show that because that's personal. Um, I did grab two cans. First time I've seen this at Dollar Tree before, Mamwich. Right? Just some ground beef, toss this in, throw it on some hamburger buns, and yum, yum, yum. I love this stuff. Uh, you just mix it with your ground beef, and that's it. Expiration date is January of 2023. Excuse me, 2022. Super simple. You toss this in a pan with your uh, ground beef or turkey. Yum. Okay. I picked up two more of the plastic mailing bags because I've had so much friend mail going out. I wiped myself out of bags, which is like odd for me because I always have like overage, but I've just been sending, 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 and I'm still sending. I did pick up some more paper towels. They had the uh, 210 sheet mega size. So they got this sitting right next to the regular one. I'm not gonna get the old regular one that's about that big around when I can get this. I mean, obviously, you know, it was like twice as much. So I grabbed two of those. Paper towels and stuff like that, best place to get them, Dollar Tree, in my opinion. Why spend, what was like a roll of paper towels at the store? Like for a roll of bounty, like three bucks? That's insane, just my opinion. All right, couple more things I grabbed here. And these are just a couple like food items. <clears throat> I didn't go too crazy. They were doing, I don't know if they're trying to remodel in the store that I go to or what. It was like really messed up. I, I wasn't, it was like me. Gardener fruit cheese style. Gardener fruitase, fruitis. I know how to pronounce this, but I'm not pronouncing it right. I know that. Pure clean dry shampoo. I've never tried dry shampoo. Um, I guess I get a little apprehensive because my hair's long. I don't know. Has anybody ever tried this stuff before or any dry shampoo? Let me know down in the box below what you think about this stuff. 3.4 ounces. It comes in a spray like that. Um, I've never tried it, so if anybody has, please let me know. I grabbed it because it is a brand name. I saw a couple other um, people haul it and I thought, well, maybe in an emergency or in a pinch. I don't know, I've never tried it before. I then found one more of the Bolero Clay Facial Masks in the Banana Blast. I had one of these. I sent it to somebody for friend mail, and she was like, oh, my God, I love this stuff. So I grabbed one for myself. Um, does this have a tab thing on it? Yeah, it does. It has a tab thing on it, which I don't mind. I'd rather it have that for security reasons or safety reasons. Um, but, oh, my God, does it smell good. I was going to show you what it looks like, but basically... Right here on the bottle is exactly what it looks like when you squeeze it out. So brand name product, definitely worth more than a dollar. I did pick up another one of these cheesies because I ran out last night. This is a 2.5 ounce. I use this Kelowna cheese all the time. Expiration date is February 28th of 2021. It is real Parmesan cheese. It's not that fake stuff. Um, and it is gluten free. I use this stuff all the time for a dollar. Can't beat it. Also picked myself up some because this was the first time I'd seen these at Dollar Tree in a long time. The Little Dutch made the um, almond windmill cookies. Mm, 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 mm. Love me these windmill cookies. So I picked up one of those. That's a pretty good size package. 10 ounces for a dollar. Can't beat that. That's quite a few cookies there. And then last but not least, I went and got myself some big old long English cucumbers. And if you don't know what an English cucumber is, trust me, there's a difference. English cucumbers are usually very long, usually about, well, they can vary from a half an inch around to three inches around. Um, they don't have a lot of seeds in them. They have hardly any seeds. And there's nothing like, and Jenny, if you're watching, there's nothing like a fresh cucumber and cheese sandwich. She knows what I'm talking about. Oh my God, I think I might have to have that for lunch now. But anyways, I squirreled. I went and picked up some really big cucumbers. They had them on sale for 99 cents, which is an amazing price. 
So I grabbed a bunch and what I do, because I've got the Italian in me too, I picked up two of the Wishbone Italians and they have these at Dollar Tree. They're good until April of 2021. This is the perfect size. What I do is I um, buy these all the time because in the regular store, these are over $2 a bottle. So when I can get them for a dollar at Dollar Tree, I grab them. But where I was going with that, <laughs> maybe I have too many headbands on. Um, get yourself some of those English cucumbers. Slice them up real thin, toss them in a bowl. Get some fresh tomatoes, slice them up into chunks, toss them in a bowl. Get a fresh Vandalia, Vandalia onion or a sweet onion, chop it up, toss it in the bowl. Take your ingredients, stir them up some. Get yourself some fresh, either feta, I know, Italian and Greek, but it works. Either get yourself some fresh feta or fresh mozzarella. Put that to the side. Mix up your ingredients. Dump in the entire bottle of this. A little bit of salt and pepper. Not a lot because you got a lot of salt and pepper in the dressing. Mix it up. Let it chill overnight. Then bring it back out. Take it. Put it in a bowl. Put it on a plate. However you want to do it. Put your fresh mozzarella in there. Put some fresh feta in there. Whichever you prefer. Or you don't have to do either. Get yourself some French bread and go to town. That is a meal for us Italians. That's a meal. And that is like something we always have on our counters is French bread, tomato sauce, or we have something to do with some kind of salad. Okay, everybody. I think I was out in the sun too long or had too many headbands on my head. I don't know. Um, I do have another haul from another store called Just a Buck. I don't know how many people have those stores in their area. I know we had them back home in Chicago where I came from. We have a few out here where I'm at now here in New York State. I believe there's just a bucks around the world, but I just don't know how many. So I do have a small haul from just a buck. It's another store that I visit fairly frequently because it's in the same shopping center as the Dollar Tree I go to. But just to give you a sneak peek, because I, I'm gonna do a haul because I, I did pick up a few things. But just to give you a sneak peek, I am a big fanatic about unicorns, rainbows, donuts, and anything to do with that kind of stuff. These are removable cling sheets, and these were just a dollar each. And when I show you what they are, I was so excited I was skipping practically. I think I was at this point. Now, again, these are from Just a Buck. Actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to keep this video rolling. I was going to stop the camera and do another haul separate. But you know what? I'm just going to combine it. Since I'm sitting here with you right now and it's quiet, I'm going to take a sip of my coffee and we're going to jump into it. Okay. So, just a buck. Here we go. OMG. <gasps> Nine Klingons. <laughs> Nine Klingons. Let me measure them for you. Oh my God, I flipped my lid. And they're clear, which means you can see through the window with them. Oh my gosh. If you guys want to see what these look like on a window, please let me know. The unicorns themselves are four and a half inches long. Are those adorable or what? Oh my God, I was flipping out. Then I found another one. Again, everything is a dollar. Not one thing over a dollar, just a buck. Oh my gosh. Now you can put these on bags. You can put these on windows, refrigerators, car windows. You know, there's so many things you can do with these. Wait till you see what I'm gonna do with them. Um, another DIY that I'm not saying nothing about, but it's for a DIY and I'm gonna make it first before I say anything. There's the last one. OMG. You know what? I would take one of these out and just put it on my car window, like on the side and the back, because that would look adorable. Okay, so I was so excited about those. I really was. All right, then I found these, which I am definitely going to, they would have been great for July 4th, but that's okay. We have um, Labor Day coming up. Let me just take this little piece of paper off. You get two of these sticks. So let me take, you get two in a package. Let me take it out. And it's this long wand that's done in silver. And it's got these on there, which I thought how perfect 
for decorations. You could trim these if you wanted to. You could stick it in a vase. You could stick it in a centerpiece. You can stick it on a two-tiered tray in a, in a anything to make anything. I thought it was so cute. It's actually called a tinsel pom-pom is what they call them. And you get, again, you get two of them. Are these adorable or what? So many different crafting ideas came to mind. So I grabbed myself three packs in total. Yay! Too adorable. Okay, let me grab here. Actually, I did. I stopped at Marshall's too. Um, it was the first time I'd been in a Marshall's since the pandemic. Okay, so just a buck. Oh my God, these are so freaking cute. Okay, this is a product by Seacliff and it is an ice cream cone bottle opener. And what I thought was really funny when I saw it is it's from River Grove, Illinois, and I know exactly where that is. I've been there many, 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 many times, not far from where I grew up. And I was like, check it out. And let me see if it has, I don't know if it does, if there's a magnet in there or not. I'm gonna have to double check that because it feels like there's a magnet in there. It might stick to the fridge. Anyways, I got myself two. Yes, there is a magnet in there because these two are st trying to stick together. So pop it right on your fridge. How cute is that for summer for a dollar? I have to say it's hard sometimes. <sighs> it's difficult sometimes because just a buck sometimes does have cuter stuff than Dollar Tree. It just depends. Just like Dollar Tree, you have to hit it at the right time. All right, something else here because we got a little bit of a unicorn theme going on here. This is a set of six cake toppers made by Flomo. I'm going to take them out of the package here. So these are cake toppers. Just because it says that on the bag, that's not what I'm going to use them for. I have many, many, many other ideas. So let me get this out of the bag. Oh my gosh, look at these. Oh! So you get two of each color, okay? Look at these mermaid tails. Oh my gosh. Now, I just saw these and went, put them in a birthday cake, put them in a cupcake, put it in a two-tiered tray design. Oh my God, there's so many things you could do with this. Attach it to a package as a little, you know, a little something extra. Oh my God, I was like flipping out. So I grabbed me some of them. Where'd my other stuff go? Look, I got so excited, I don't know what to do with myself. Um, actually, I picked up a few packages of those. I thought they were so cute. And I'm also gonna put some in friend mail. Why not have a something, a little bling bling for friend mail, right? All right, hold on now, because I said there's a theme going on here. Let me get out the rest. I'm telling you, I was clicking my heels coming out of the store because I found so much fun. I, um, <laughs> you guys, you're probably all going, oh my gosh, how old is she? How old is this woman? How old is that bun lady? All right, you guys all know my pen fetish, right? Well, I picked up pink, blue, and purple. Let me present to you, ladies and gentlemen. Look, they're baby unicorny heads. Oh my gosh, are they cute. I had to get one in every color because I'm going to pop those right on my desk. How cute would these be for friend mail? Oh my gosh, are they precious or what? Now, remember I said we have a theme going. So, I then found, whoops. Okay, there's the somebody at the door. So now I just have to drop something and we've made a complete video. These are cake toppers made by Flomo, and this is what it looks like. Let me take it out of there. This matches a whole bunch of stuff. I'm not being rude, it's UPS, so. Happy birthday! You could put it in a cake. You could put it as a centerpiece. You could do anything you want. I thought it was just so adorable. I wasn't gonna pass it up. So I grabbed me one of those. And then they had these little loot bags for like when you're doing um, a birthday party and you're sending home more treats than your child's birthday gifts. I got no, I'm kidding. By the time you pay for treat bags, they can get pretty expensive. That's why you shop at just a buck or dollar tree. These are a pack of eight. Ah, are they adorable or what? 
right, so I thought, you know what? When I'm sending friend mail, happy mail, when I'm sending giveaway stuff, I thought, you know what? I can put it in one of these little bags and send it. And the covers of the designs are on the front and the back. So you get eight in a package. And last but not least, they had these cupcake toppers. You get 12 in a package. Let me, I got um, actually several of them. Let me open this up for you. It's okay, they'll put it on the porch. Actually, I have to cut this one open, so bear with me. Okay, oh my God, these are adorable. Oh my gosh. Oh, these are so stinking cute. Are you ready? So we have a unicorn and these are plastic sticks. So we have a unicorn. You get three of each one. So you get three unicorns. Oh my gosh. <gasps> Look at these. Oh my gosh. I just dropped something. So we've just now made this complete. Oh my gosh. Okay, here's the next one. <gasps> Oh my gosh. And I think this is, oh, I don't know. They're all so stinking cute. They're just too, too cute. Oh my gosh. Aren't those adorable? I know I'm cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs, right? But here is another idea. So say you're doing a unicorn or some type of a themed party and you take one of these, you can put it into the top of the gift, you could put it in the gift bag, you could use this for decorative. There's just so many things that you could possibly use that stuff for, it's unbelievable. But that's my crafting brain kind of going off. Let me just check one other thing here. Bear with me. Where are we at for time? Okay. Um. All right, so that's it from Just a Buck. I'm just gonna keep rolling here. Okay. I popped into Marshall's. This is the very first time I popped into Marshall's since every all the craze has been going on. I only purchased three things, um, but I wanna share one of the items with you. Actually, I'm gonna share two of the items with you because one of the items is a gift for someone. So, everyone knows how much I love donuts and cupcakes and stuff like that. Let me just take the wrapping off this. I saw this and my mouth fell on the floor. Not literally, but close to it. Alrighty, so I wanna put this in my kitchen. <laughs> Look, it's a stack of donuts. It's a canister. <gasps> Is that adorable or what? I think it's adorable. Anyways, let me get you a measurement here. This measures six and a half inches by five inches. Oh my gosh, I just love this. I absolutely love it. So what you do is you have this little latch that you open and then you have a full canister on the inside. Can anyone try to guess how much I paid for this? When I picked up the bottom to look for the price tag, I was like, no way, no way, it can't be right. So I did a double check and I checked it again, but do you wanna know how much I paid for this? $4 and 99 cents for this ceramic gorgeous. I think it's absolutely adorable. I couldn't pass it up for five bucks. I mean, come on, <laughs> that's going on my kitchen counter. And one other thing I picked up, I can't show you the other thing cause that's a gift for someone, but Miss Linda had sent me, um, was it a, I don't remember if it was a message, instant message or something like that, Linda. Had, and we all know who Linda is. And she sent me a message from um, a photograph she had for a gnome at, I think it was either Marshall's or TJ Maxx. And I was like, oh no. So I walked in and this guy, I'm trying to fix his face. This guy was sitting on the shelf and I said, OMG, I have to get it. I have to, even though 4th of July is gone, check it out. It's a little gnome and it's got little sequins that change colors. So I think I like his feet blue. And look at him. Oh my goodness, is he adorable or what? He was what, how much was he? $6.99? $6.99, you can change the color on his hat if you want to. 
how perfect for the 4th of July. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to get some kind of like star or something and have them hold it so it looks more 4th of July-y, but yeah, my first 4th of July, no me. <laughs> All right, that was my shopping trip today. I need to go do more weeding and stay out of the stores because that was trouble for me big time. No, I'm just kidding. That was a treat to myself. Alrighty, so that was three different places. Um, hopefully I didn't confuse everybody by mushing this all into one shop, but I thought, you know, I was checking out my time and rather than do three short little videos, we'll just put one big video together. I don't know how I'm going to name it, but I'm sure you guys will figure it out. Thank you so much for all of your current support. All my new subscribers, welcome. As you can tell, I am just a little bit of crazy and um, a little bit country and a little bit of rock and roll I am. Until next time, everyone, make sure to take care of each other and yourself. Bye for now.